good caving friend Jeff has just uh, called me. Um, we've been working for a long time to get access to a particular cave up in the Bancroft area. The landowner up until now has not been uh, too much into the idea, but the landowner's just changed and uh, the current landowner has given us permission, which is great. Um, for the purpose of the video, we'll call it uh, Two Dog Cave, although it's known to cavers by a different name. It, unfortunately reveals the location, so we're going to be a little bit careful with that. So anyway, I'm, I'm heading up to Bancroft really shortly uh, to visit this cave. I understand, uh, according to local rumor, uh, there's supposedly treasure of some type or wealth of some type that's been secreted within the cave. Um, well, they're just rumors, and most caves have those kind of rumors. I think I've heard something about Myers Cave to the same effect. Um, although this one has been repeated by the landowner, who has never actually been into the cave uh, and also some of the locals have, have mentioned uh, that rumor from time to time as well I, I believe it was gemstones from Ceylon or something anyway uh, apparently Jeff had been told uh, we could split it uh, 20 80 I'm hoping we can bargain 50 50 with the landowner if we find something so without any further ado uh, on my way to Bancroft let's see what we can find you might have guessed by the bug jacket that the bugs are absolutely horrendous. I don't know how to pronounce it. Gosh, oh, it's there it is right there. There it is. See? See? So this is the obviously the stream that's that's formed the cave. It seems to run under here. Maybe not the easiest way to enter. But I guess we'll be following the stream through the cave. <laughs> Cave guardians. Good dog. Good dog. Come on, don't to worry about it. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Okay, so is that an onward leading message? Oh, they're excited. Cookies. Jeff's heard grunting down here. Uh, as a result, a speedy exit from my entrance, but there's a nice big passage, so it's just like, I guess we got to figure out what it is that's grunting. Is it bigger than us or smaller? If it's a bear, we're in trouble. If it's a raccoon, I hope it just scurries away. So let's see. So there's a stream. I'm not seeing any huge footprints that would indicate a bear. At least not to my knowledge. Ever so careful. There's no footprints here at all, man. Sure it wasn't your imagination? Whoa, nice. Beautiful. Check this out for a beautiful river passage. Wow. So, I guess if there was something here, I'm hoping it went that away up ahead of us. Tons of fish in the water here. Dude, that's like a swimming passage. Is it? Well, let's do some swimming. <laughs> Why not? Lovely. It's a beautiful cave. Ooh, water. Oh, look. It goes off that way, too. Oh yeah, this is maze-like. Stop complaining. Okay, it goes up that way too. So this is just a maze, absolute maze of passage. And I guess the secret, keep going downstream if we get confused or discombobulated in some kind of way. You can see all the impurities in the marble up on the roof. Kind of a nasty stench, almost like cabbage. Ugh. Okay. Oh. Large spiders up on the roof. Nice. Laying out roof markers now. As I say, Knows where it goes, how far it goes, but 
Thank you. Right behind you, out the other way. You want to come back out this way? Yes, please. Okay. It's a little low up here, but okay. So we've each entered a. Are they raccoon? Dude, I'm not an Indian. What's that? I'm in it. Oh, I'm deep in the mud here. That was a little. That was a raccoon prince. Nothing wrong with the pencil light. Except it's at this point almost dead after many years of caving with it. Okay, so how, what is this up ahead? A very wide tunnel? Uh, uh, like follows that joint for a bit. It's mud though. I'll let you go up. Okay. Look at this. Filthy kind of mess. Okay. Oh, it smells terrible. Rotting cabbage. Unique smell to this cave. Things sprouting, big chunk of wood up ahead. This is obviously a passage that floods when the water's a little bit higher, but again, the marble is so very finely sculpted here. It's beautiful. I mean, so sharp in many spots. Oh, you can see down there. Notice how the root marker kind of jumps out at you. Anyway, this is the deal. It's just a, a maze-like marble cave. Looks like it's almost square grid. Water flows down one passage. Looks like at higher flood times it moves to the outside passages. Looks like the raccoons live down here. Possibly something bigger. Jeff made an emergency exit from the cave when we first jumped in because he said there was growling. But we risked it. Bad idea, maybe. Again, see my root marker? Down that way. What's that? No, I'm just turning around here. Basically, popsicles stick with reflector tape on it, and I pick them up as I leave again. Just to keep your bearings. The rock here is actually quite translucent in the in the grayish areas. You can it, it's almost like you can see into the rock. Uh, like a sugary grain to this marble with other rock embedded in it. You've got scallopings. I don't know how well you can see them. Scallopings in the rock indicative of the water flow. Uh, and some really fantastical kind of shapes. So this is interesting. This is like a, a spell of gem, a formation of rock that's been hollowed away. It's like a giant spoon or scallop, steepest on the side from which the water's been flowing. So in this particular case, let me, right here, the water's been flowing in this direction, makes a deep scoop and then a shallow sort of shallows away, like in other words, like a teaspoon shape. Come on, boy. I'll tell you, the bugs are just atrocious. I'm getting eaten alive. I got a horse fly in my helmet a minute ago. Mosquitoes all around me. Anyway, I guess it's kind of worth it. Here's the resurgence area. Just a beautiful sort of stream. So the fact that I'm feeling cool flowing air here says we're probably near one of the river passages. We've been trying to find alternate entrances. And this is a pretty low bedding crane plane crawl, but I'm thinking it must join up eventually to the river. Passage leading lower. That's gotta be the way on. I'm just jealous because I found this one, not you. What's the issue? Stick, brother. Uh, popsicle sticks turned out to be a good idea. Why? Because you can actually get lost in this Ontario cave. Badly lost, yeah, exactly. It was all over the place. I must have They let us I, back. You thought I was I a nut bar. I thought you were a nut job for having those things before, yep. but they, they finally worked out for once. Excellent. So you're good to go now. Nice. <laughs>